Once, there was a little farm with a pond full of geese and ducks. On a fine spring morning, a mother duck felt her eggs start to crack beneath her. One by one, all the eggs broke open, with each new baby duckling cuter than ever. Until the last egg broke open. The duckling did not look like the other cute little ducklings. He was gray and clumsy and way too big. The mother duck thought, how big and clumsy this duckling is. But she loved him just as much as the other ducklings. The next day, the mother duck took her ducklings to meet the other farm animals. As soon as they entered the farmyard, the other animals started to call the gray duckling names. Look at the ugly duckling, said a mean old goose. Soon, his own brothers and sisters were calling him names. They called him Ugly Duckling. This went on for days, and the Ugly Duckling decided to run far away. He ran deep into the field. He finally came upon a pond full of geese. It was nighttime, so he fell asleep in the tall grass surrounding the pond. In the morning, the ugly duckling was just about to meet the geese when they were scared by a hunter and his dogs. The ugly duckling stayed in the long grass and hid from the hunter and his scary dogs. When he was sure they were gone, he started to walk towards a cottage he could see. An old woman lived there with her prize hen and cat. The old woman let the ugly duckling stay because she thought she could fatten up the duck to sell him at the market. The prize hen and the cat were very rude to the ugly duckling. And besides, there was no water for him to swim on here. So the ugly duckling snuck away one night to find a lake. He found a nice lake, but none of the other birds spoke to him. They thought he was too ugly to bother with. One day, a beautiful flock of white birds with long necks flew overhead. The ugly duckling began to cry, but he had no idea why. It was getting colder and soon all the other birds left the pond because winter was coming. The ugly duckling stayed and awoke one morning to find his feet frozen in the lake. A nice, kind farmer found the ugly duckling and saved him. He thought he would be a nice house pet for his children, so he brought the ugly duckling home. His wife and children were not very happy with the ugly duckling, and so the ugly duckling snuck away to find a new home. It was winter, and the ugly duckling found a spot on a pond's edge. He built a nest. He was safely hidden to snuggle away the whole winter. Finally, spring arrived, and the pond thawed. The ugly duckling spread his wings. He found his wings grew very strong during the winter. The ugly duckling landed gracefully on the lovely pond. Just as he landed, he noticed three snowy swans near the pond's shore. He felt the same way he had had the first time he saw them fly overhead. The ugly duckling slowly swam over to meet the swans. And then, as the ugly duckling swam, he noticed his own reflection. What do you think he saw? His own reflection was that of a beautiful white swan. You see, over the winter, the ugly gray duckling had grown into a beautiful, white, graceful swan. 
and he was the most beautiful bird of all. The new swans welcomed their new swan friend. The swans were so very nice to the ugly duckling, who was now a stunning white swan. The ugly duckling promised himself he would never forget the lessons he had learned as a young ugly duckling, as he lived happily ever after with his new family on the beautiful pond. <laughs>